By the end of this lesson, you should be able to determine the factors that affect elasticity, describe related applications of elasticity, solve problems involving elasticity. Forces can stretch a spring; they cause the spring's extension. Forces can compress a string; they cause the spring's compression. When the forces are removed, the spring returns to its original shape. It is elastic. When a spring stretches or compresses, we say that the spring is elastically deformed. The elastic property of springs make them very useful objects. We have also seen that springs obey Hooke's law. This means the extension or compression of a spring is proportional to the force acting on the spring. We can write a force equation for the spring. The spring constant in the equation indicates the elasticity, strength, or stiffness of the spring. Let's plot a force extension graph for the springs. The gradient of the force extension graph gives us the spring constant k. Different springs have different spring constants. The larger the value of this constant, the bigger the force needed to stretch it. This makes the spring stiffer. What makes a spring stiff? We know that different springs experience different extensions with the same load. Look at the animation. Which spring will experience a larger extension with the same load? We can see that stiff springs have smaller extensions, while weak springs have larger extensions. Why are some springs stiffer than others? Different springs have different physical characteristics. These characteristics will determine the stiffness of a spring. Look at the spring in the video. What physical characteristics does it have? A spring has length and diameter. Other physical characteristics are contributed by the metal wire that it is made of. Which is the diameter of the wire and the material of the wire. And the winners of the Miss Spring Diameter and Miss Wire Diameter categories are Miss Fanny Steele and Miss Ginny Steele. And now the final winner for tonight in the Miss Wire Material category is Miss Julia Copper. And now, ladies, show these good people what you can do. Let us consider what happens when a system of more than one spring is used to support a given weight. There are three similar springs. One spring is hung up individually. The other two springs are connected in series, that is, one after the other. When a 100 gram weight is attached to it, the single spring extends two centimeters. Assuming the springs have no weight, can you predict the extension of the two springs in series system with the same weight?
The extension of the two springs in series system is double the extension of a single spring system. It is weaker than a single spring system. We can also create a spring system by connecting springs in a parallel arrangement, that is, side by side. The single spring extends 2 centimeters with a 100 gram weight. Assuming the springs have no weight, can you predict the extension of the two parallel spring system with the same weight? The extension of the two parallel spring system is half the extension of the single spring system.